Rain or shine, Ruan Hemage is outside working on his farm in Lolubagoda, Sri Lanka, about 70 kilometers outside the capital city of Colombo. Hemage grows coconuts, bananas, pineapples, and other crops on his six hectare farm. His star crop is the pineapple. About 90% of the pineapples are exported to the Middle East. One of the biggest challenges is getting a good deal for his fruit. Find the right buyer. I mean, the, for the right price. The buyers are there, not the right price. Pineapple prices fluctuate on the world market. Sri Lankan producers have earned anywhere from $100 to more than $500 per ton since 1991. The terms of value, uh, if, if, if I can sell 70, so some person asks me is 50. So there is a possibility in the market to sell 70 also. So find the person in a 70 and keep the relationship in a long term is uh, the, the biggest challenge. He found a solution, produce higher quality goods to fetch higher prices. This is where the International Trade Center has stepped in. Through its Improving Safety and Quality of Fruits and Vegetables in Sri Lanka project, funded by the Standards and Trade Development Facility, nearly 600 farmers, including Hemage, learn techniques to grow fruits and vegetables that better meet international requirements. We train them on a variety of things, whether it's to do with the use of fertilizer, chemicals, hygiene, health, safety, uh, all aspects of that and how to uh, bring a quality uh, product to the marketplace which is acceptable for export. Suresh Elawala trains farmers on good agricultural practices such as the safe and minimal use of pesticides. His farm was the first in the country to be certified by Global Gap, an organization that sets voluntary standards for agricultural goods around the world. It has certainly helped us uh, in more ways than one. It's brought quality uh, at a holistic level. Uh, we've taken better care of our staff, we've taken better care of the product, and that in turn um, gives a lot of confidence to our consumer. Today, uh, customers are looking for product that is safe and uh, certified. The ITC project, which has involved study tours to Thailand and Italy and the training of farmers, exporters and government officials, has been bearing fruit since its launch in 2013. We have seen the quality of the fruits and vegetables when they grow uh, ease to some standard, especially the use of, uh, use of certain uh, pesticide, weedicide, fungicide has been highly controlled. We have seen a drastically a reduction in the phytosanitary notification in the EU importing countries. And uh, we have seen uh, one international uh, buyer and one uh, supplier of packaging uh, products uh, going to Sri Lanka to assess the feasibility for establishing long-term uh, partnership. Already samples have been uh, sent to and tested in the Italian uh, market. By producing safer, higher quality fruits and vegetables, Sri Lankan farmers and processors are positioning themselves to partner with international companies. Noborasco, Italy's leading dried fruits company, is exploring business opportunities in Sri Lanka in response to its increasingly health-conscious consumers. Vice President Gabriele Noborasco visited farms and processing facilities in May 2016 to see firsthand how the work is done and to meet with industry representatives. The idea is to develop in Sri Lanka something different from, from what uh, we actually buy in uh, Thailand and Philippines. We're looking for a new kind of uh, fruit, especially the tropical fruits. We are interested in organic products and the natural products. And the Sri Lanka effectively has a very properly quality. Another benefit is that Sri Lanka's dried fruits industry is up and coming, so these products can be branded in a way that differentiates them from competitors. The case of Sri Lanka uh, could be a, a, a real uh, uh, valuable choice because we could be, I hope, in advantage against others, thinking to a country that is not yet very well known about uh, their production, but is in any case a country that is growing in the main kind of work. Preparing farmers and processors to export safe and high quality goods, then building the institutional support to connect them with potential buyers, creates the foundation for win-win business opportunities. Susanna Pak, ITC News, Colombo.